Hey yo everyone, Blakesta hey, and right now we're about to do a reaction to Mama Moo's Yes I Am. So yeah, this is Mama Moo's latest comeback, and like Mama Moo is just a seriously talented group. Like they have vocals that pretty much are unrivaled by any other girl group, and they also have such funny personalities. Like their variety show appearances, I mean. They, they bring the house down. And I love the fact that they're getting the recognition they deserve in Korea for them being so talented and stuff like that. But, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like most of their music is just kind of... Uh, it's like, most of their songs are a general hit or a miss for me. Like, there are some Mamamoo songs I do like, such as Um Oh I Yeah. That is a good song right there. But I don't know, I just feel like at least their title songs for me don't really do their talent and vocals justice. And I've actually saw some comments saying about how with Rainbow Ridge, they have like amazing trainees, great promotion, and you know, do all these things right, but their production value is... Yeah. But I feel like it's not Mamamoo's fault, it's just the producers that do these songs that are the ones to blame. Truthfully, I wasn't really gonna react to this, but I heard a lot of people talk about this comeback and how hyped up it was, so I was like, alright, let me check it out. So yeah, I'm willing to give this a try. So the opening screen is purple, obviously. Odds are because the name of their mini album that this is off of is called Purple. So I have no idea what purple has to do with anything, but let's go ahead and watch this. Purple Beauty. Three, two, one, hit the play back. Oh. It's rated 15 and up, so odds are some stuff. Oh, is that their new logo? Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Whoa, that's a funky room. Funky colors. That's pretty cool. That was a... Yeah, the members are going by pretty fast, so I couldn't tell. Wait. Yeah, I think that's Solar, right? Because I know there's like Solar, Wien, Moonbeal, and Kwasa. Yeah. That's Kwasa, obviously. She has a very distinctive face, so yeah. She is a good rapper, too. And I like the fact that the rappers have good voices, too. <laughs> that moment, that just tells everyone why they're known as like the ultimate girl crush group. <laughs> She's so cute. That was Solar, right? Kissing the flamingo. Okay, like, what did that thing say? Okay. Oh, it's gonna be another one of those videos. With, like, them that imagery that, I don't know, <laughs> strange but really cool. Or, okay, so, yeah, the other two members, I can't tell which one is Moonbill, which one's we in, so, y'all gotta tell me in the comments. Oh, that French Bulldog, though. <laughs> I wonder whose dog that really is. If that's hers, then good for her. Yes, I am. Interesting imagery. <laughs> oh, but that was a glass thing, okay. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that's, that is beautiful right there. Okay. Okay, a little bit of a switch up in the song right there. That's pretty interesting. What? 
the I Oh she's on the runway. Oh they all on that runway. Dang. They know they're gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Okay, so far the song's sounding pretty catchy. Wassa. Okay. By the way, to end it right there. I'm guessing that is Mama Moo's new logo, am I right? Cool logo. All right, well, Mama Moo, yes, I am. Well, the video, first of all, was definitely kind of funky. Like, it made a good use of color in it. Like, it was very, like, visually appealing, and there were a variety of different things happening within the video that, again, it's one of those quirky videos with all these, like, different imageries and, you know, stop motion things that are just random, but they definitely appeal to the eyes and yeah i've heard someone say that this video definitely looked low budget but as far as i see i think they made stuff work with the types of sets that they had because they were very simple sets but they made the video entertaining and quirky so hey i'm good with it as far as the song goes i'd say the song was pretty good like it had a nice like funky jazzy kind of sound to it that you know we all know mama move for like they always do the kind of jazzy ritzy kind of sound you know comparable to like all the female singers back in like the very olden days which a lot of retro stuff is coming back so i can definitely see why they're getting quite a bit of attention but yeah, it was a nice, like, listening pleasure, the song. Like, again, I don't know if I'll become addicted to this song, but it's definitely a good song, and I'm really happy that Mamamoo is getting the attention that they deserve, as said before, so. Get on ya, Mamamoo. So anyways, that's my opinion. What are your guys' opinions? Put it down in the comments down below. This is Blakester, and you're watching Ayo Blakester, so if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, because I make new videos every week. And make sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to. Link in the description. So until next time, peace out, Blake Scouts. And I really love the fact that they're getting the recognition that they 